please welcome to the stage, Sachin Ergo. Been just before the pandemic, and all the post production was done um, throughout the pandemic, so we were not seeing what will happen at the end. And I'm so so happy that uh, we are having the first screening here with all of you in Toronto. Um, so thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoy the film. I hope you feel the cold and uh, like all, all the feelings with us. <laughs> So, thank you very much, and we will be here for the Q&A at the end, so. Thank you congratulations. Beautiful, powerful film for a first film, especially magnificent. Can you please tell us first how the idea for it came to you? Thank you for your nice words, by the way. Was a very exciting time for all of us. Yes, mainly it, it is um, the kind of feeling that uh, I've been experiencing for some time uh, as a young woman uh, in this world and in this country, a kind of uh, being trapped uh, in a hostile uh, environment, but also feeling powerful in a way. And so this was a central feeling that came to me, but with this feeling, I, I wanted to put this feeling in a kind of microcosmos uh, of this village, so you can feel it more powerfully in a way. Uh, so uh, it is my feeling, but uh, this feeling is presented by a young nurse who is obliged to go to a small village, which is cut out of the world in a way. So this feeling was the beginning of the story. Then came the, uh, my feeling about nature and how we treat the nature uh, was something on the top of it. And uh, how many years ago did you write this script? When did this begin for you? I think it was uh, 2018, uh, the beginning of the idea. But of course, that was a very long stage for the script. And also, we attend some labs with the film of the rocket. And that was funding uh, process. So we shot the film in 2020, uh, just before the pandemic. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, and that was the process. So you've been waiting a long time to really get yes. to the audience. <laughs> yes. And I would love to, I mean, you have an incredible cast and crew, and I'd love to ask Mary a question. Uh, what are your reactions to the film? How, how are you feeling? Cevap verin ya. Öncelikle hiç sorun çevirecek misiniz? Ee, hepinize geldiğiniz için çok teşekkür ederim. Ee, pandemiden beri hissettiğim şey ve en çok özlediğim şey hep beraber film izlemekti. Dünyanın neresine gidersem gideyim en güzel görüntü bu. Çok teşekkür ederim öncelikle. Translate. Uh, uh, he say uh, you're welcome here, and uh, my feeling uh, during the pandemic was uh, this: like when we will be able to watch films uh, together like this. And she said this is a great feeling, and uh, I'm very happy that you are here and we are together watching this film. Sonra da ben de ilk defa izliyorum filmi. Bu filmin başarısı olsa gerekiyor. Donuyorum şu an. Özellikle de soğuk, yani inanılmaz bir görsel. Gerçekten çok iyiydi. She said she is also watching the film first time here on the big screen, and she said, I don't know, maybe this is the power of the film, but I was frozen, and some people told me that it was air conditioning, but I ignore that part. I want to believe that it's the power of the film. So. Galiba ben çok mutluyum ve çok heyecanlıyım. Çok etkilendim. Bu yüzden onun da bir zamana ihtiyacım varmış gibi hissediyorum. 
Uh, where is Amit Ji? I got this. <laughs> I, uh, she said that like uh, I was very moved by the film, so maybe I, I need some time to process it. Uh, also, uh, she, she, she uh, talked about her partner, uh, Samet, uh, the male lead, so uh, yes, they're also seeing him for the first time here. So I <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he said, yes, I'm on the side of Samet because the animal is like he's with the animals, so I'm with them. Uh, I mean, I, I would love, you know, there's, there's so much brightness and so much darkness in the film, and you really create a terrific atmosphere from both directions. Can you talk about how you approach the script and what the process was like for you working together? It's such a Maybe it's the location was very strong. I mean, we shoot very high in the one part. For Turkey, it's very high to find a village so high, 1,600 uh, meters. Very, very high location to go, and each day it was an adventure. Sometimes we couldn't go, it was closed. And uh, maybe the location was drive us a lot. But, but actually, where, where exactly were you? Um, is close uh, to the border of Georgia and uh, Armenia. Mm -hmm. It is very close on this area, on the north north uh, part of Turkey, not so far away from the Black Sea. And uh, yes, it's a powerful region. Mm -hmm. I think what I like uh, about Kuram's approach to film was you see a big difference between uh, like outside and day and night inside. So I hope people found that, but I really love like when outside is cold and white and like uh, and inside is usually warm. So I feel like inside places are a way like people feel comfy, people hide from the cold and outside world. But that's that's what I like about that the warm is inside. So this contrast is very nice for me. Uh, as I said about that, because uh, there is a big kind of hospitality. And they did use it uh, very quickly. I think also they were bored. Uh, <laughs> like really, this village is like very uh, enclosed from the outside world. So I think in a way they were very nice, and especially the women there. That all the women were like the women in the film. They really welcome us, and they always offer us some hot milk and stuff. Uh, so they were very happy. Also, most of the like extras were really from the village. Uh, the guys in the search party. Even the gendarmes are like the young gendarmes are from the village, so they became a part of it, and that was very nice. But of course, they are an actors, so usually we are shooting a scene, and then one of the guys he needs to be there. Then I turn back, and the guy is not there. <laughs> and I say, when, when is this person like Ahmed Abi? And they say, ah, oh, he went for his calls because it is time for calls. So he couldn't stay more. <laughs> so, but it, it was really fun. And it was very really nice to be a part a part of this. Like that. How long did you stay there? How long was the shooting? The uh, shooting was uh, like five weeks, uh, but we, we went there like a little bit earlier. And also one year earlier, I went there for two weeks uh, to be there to find like skills. So I really stayed with them. Old lady and the guy, and uh, I stayed with them. I write the script, some parts of the script with them. So. Wow. More questions from the audience. The question starts with um, it calls back to your introduction when you talked about in the writing process how it centered around being trapped as a woman. And what specifically could you say does the bear mean for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a kind of question that I'm not sure the answer, but okay. I don't know how, what you felt about it. It is more important, like, where, where is this bear stands in all this story? But I always see this bear as a kind of uh, like created enemy that. You feel like everybody's talking about it, and it will come, and it's dangerous. And then, uh, like a lot of great enemies we have in our lives, and and then uh, when uh, the bear is confronted, like the, when the uh, Marbe is confronted with the bear, you understand that it's not this beast that villagers are talking about. So for me, first of all, this bear is this great enemy that people are afraid, but actually, we are enemy to them in a way. And also, of course, bear is uh, the nature there, like uh, how we treat the nature in a way. Just not the animals, but the, the forest, the trees, and everything around it. So um, that, that is the idea for me. But more importantly, how we felt about this bear. <laughs> That's more important for me. Uh, 
and the red hair in the front garden part of the story because we try to do something um, like give a feeling without showing it. For example, there are very few animals in the film, but there's a, a like a lot of sound of animals you feel all around them. Uh, so we put a lot of work on the sound, and I'm very happy uh, to with the sound, and I'm very happy to hear it here actually because I, I, it's a very good uh, surround system. Is I really love that. So um, yes, it was it was a way that how we can put uh, what we don't see on the image. Uh, how we can add something on the image and uh, Jane Kerr, your friends are uh, like sound designer and we put a lot of thought for, on this like how we can give this feeling of coldness as you say uh, but also the nature uh, and all the animals. It's the jackpot. Ah, <laughs> thank you. There was another question at the front in 2018 and if you could bring us back to this moment if there was something significant politically perhaps at the time that drew this. I think it was not specific to this moment. This is a, it's really a feeling like continuing, and maybe it's becoming more harsh and more harsh. This, this is the reason I think. So when you are writing, like when I'm writing something, like sometimes a scene comes or an idea comes or a feeling comes, and probably my feeling was this uh, woman's feeling at that point of my life, actually. <laughs> I really got the sense, you know, in, in the programming process, we really watch a lot of films, so it, it's, it's, a, it's a big, long selection to be selected. And one of the things that we were discussing is, yes, of course, your film is taking place in Turkey, but actually it could be in many, many places. We got this feeling. So I was wondering if, uh, if you had this in mind as well to do this universality. Yeah, exactly, and also like maybe in, like the Turkish-speaking people uh, saw that, that also, you don't know where is this village in Turkey. Uh, it is like we, we say where we shot it, but uh, we never specify usually like what time, or what year, or what part of Turkey. That, because I, in a way, see this film like a kind of counter fairy tale. I say like you don't know where it is and when, and people are a little bit strange, and stories are a little bit strange. So I always felt like this is a story in Turkey. I wrote in Turkish because this is what I know. But it can be a story in any small enclosed uh, community uh, all around the world, I think. And actually, speaking of Turkey, I think you have some exciting news that the film will be screening ah, yes. there as well. Yes, yes, we will make a, a premiere in Turkey in um, October uh, in Antalya uh, Film Festival. Uh, in the competition. In the, in the main competition, yes. <laughs> and, um, I felt like my face was frozen uh, at the point. But uh, yeah, it was great, it was harsh, but it was great. I, 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 it's really nice to see this harshness reflected, uh, reflected on the big skin. So, yeah. and well, it comes off from all of your work, from your cinematography, from your performance, and from your direction. We want to thank you so much for showing the film. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.